Welcome back to the SD online classes. In this class, what we will do is we will follow the previous one. Here, there we studied pattern of magnetic field produced by circular loop. Circular loop and coil is same. Okay. Now we will try to understand how much is the value, how strong is the magnetic field. Why we are studying this? Because you remember in first what we did uh, magnetic field due to straight conductor and after that we did that what is the strength what is the value of the magnetic field there due to straight uh, ca current carrying conductor similarly here in the second one circular coil also we are interested in what is the strength okay and whether it is more whether it is less whether it is same like straight conductor but here we will find here here what will happen here strength of the magnetic field produced will be much more compared to the straight conductor. Why it happens? Because straight conductor is simply one wire. Okay. But in a circular one, what you'll see is it is a mix of small, 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 small pieces of wire and they are joined together. I'll explain again. I'll tell you again. Circular wire is like small straight wires joined many together. So, the many wires will give you many magnetic fields, many fold magnetic fields. So that magnetic field will be stronger than the straight current carrying wire. Okay. So that's all. That is this the strength of the magnetic fields idea. After that, we'll do how much is that. In writing simple words, here as the circular loop can be visualized to be made up of large number of small straight wires. Okay. Suppose you have a circular loop like this it will mean small wire small straight wire wire c small straight wire how many you can make many many if you make very small piece it will like this this is the meaning of that small small wires joined together large number of small straight wires you can call small elements elements means that those pieces now when you use the right hand rule in every piece of this wire it will see that it is giving you the magnetic field in this this circular way Okay, around it, around it, around it, around it, every time around this page, this line. So that means here in this region, you will see very strong magnetic field is added up by all of them. Okay, that is why the strong magnetic field is produced in that plane of the paper. Okay, and that is the meaning of understanding of this. So what is the overall thing that you have to understand is circular coil is stronger than the straight current carrying conductor. So that is why you see every time in our day to day use like in any machines and all you will hardly use the straight wire. Always the wire which is used to produce the magnetic field by the current okay in the devices like a transformer these that everywhere you'll see a circular coil will be used and many many turns will be used that is of course uh, why i'll tell you later but always you see circular one is used why because that will produce more magnetic field okay so this is the understanding of this part now the next topic is factors what are the things why it is more we know now what are the individual things what are the small small things that will give you more magnetic field here factors on which the strength of the magnetic field produced by a current carrying circular remember we are discussing circular loop circular loop depends so first one same thing we did in the case of straight wire also okay the magnetic field b will depend firstly on the inverse of that r what is the meaning of this inverse of r suppose you have a wire like this current see it very easy current is coming here and it is going here and going out from here now it will produce magnetic field you understand that but what is the meaning of this magnetic field will be stronger if you see the radius of this the distance r is not radius distance from the from the conductor magnetic field will be of the center It will be strong near the wire away from the wire if you go here this wire it will be very far from here this r will be very big r will be very big so here if the r is more magnetic field will be less the meaning of writing here in the numerator here in the denominator means it will affect opposite way if r is more b will be less that means if you go away magnetic field will be less 
if you go near magnetic field will be more this is the meaning of writing in mathematically that argument go close get more come uh, go far get it less so that is the meaning of b in inversely proportional to 1 by r how to call it b is inversely proportional to 1 by r r is the distance and b is the magnetic field magnetic field you already know magnetic field uh, expression was b number two the magnetic field will depend on the current this is very obvious because if that current is more your magnetic field will be more because this is the one which is generating the magnetic field isn't it if there is no current no magnetic field if more current more magnetic field that's why b is directly proportional to r meaning is i is more will make me more b if i is less b will be less so i is directly deciding how much it will be more so two things we understood from this formula if you go far magnetic field will be less if you go near magnetic field will be more if the current is more the magnetic field will be more one more interesting thing b will also depend on n what is that n is number of turns what is the meaning of this if i have one more turn here one more turn the magnetic field will be doubled if i have three turns triple four turns four double quadruple okay like that it will go that is why that is why now you now you you have to understand that is why wherever there are coils like in transformer or any other mechanical devices electronic devices where you have wires you'll see many many wires are wounded there one after the other why because one wire will do two will be double three will be thrice like that so in order to generate more magnetic field we make many many turns because it will directly increase it directly proportional to three things are deciding the magnetic field in a current carrying conductor of circular loop current the distance and the number of turns okay and finally we'll come to the clock rule okay clock rule is it's easy how to do suppose i have a current carrying loop like this okay you can already imagine here how we have been doing suppose the current is going up here and coming out from here and here here it is going up suppose this is the current wire and it is happening like this it is a wire you imagine this is a wire current is going from here and it's coming out you neglect this inside fold okay no, that is not there it is simply one wire it will it will be like this only it is like this only okay suppose it is like this current is going here and coming out of this it is you have to imagine like this now what will happen if you grab it here you'll see the magnetic field coming out here you grab it here going in uh, you grab it this way you'll find you grab it like this will coming outside right now in that case what will happen if it is like this wire this side and this side below side and the upper side will behave like a magnet like this if i see like this this will be a north pole this will be south pole okay you understand again south pole north pole south pole north pole north upside south this one so how to remember this it is very easy look at the direction it's going here okay it is going here you make this wire see the direction of the current right right and write it here okay you understand how, what it looks like it looks like n isn't it right i'll draw it again you'll understand and in the other case and in the other case it will be opposite current going from here that means this time current will go from here and come out here 
current will go like this come out here now look at this direction is it like this You understand see this matching this matching so this side is south you can remember like this is just a way to remember okay this is not I used to do like this easy way I don't do the outside one I used to write n like this and this is the way you understand when current is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise this anti-clockwise other the opposite of the normal clock anti-clockwise anti-clockwise current is going means what will happen here you will have north pole on above obviously the south pole will be below very easy similarly this side I write s the way I wrote N and then I will join it here see look at here and I will join it here understand see look at the direction of the current clockwise just like the clock so this white this is clockwise current that means here north pole is down up upper one is I should write the first one but it's okay south pole is upper or above I understand so this is the rule to remember whenever a current is going in a circular loop you should understand that wire will behave like a magnet if it is behaving like a magnet which side is south pole which side is north pole is the question and this rule will tell you if the current is going this way in a wire if a current is going this way in a wire you should understand this side is north pole this side is south pole it is a it is like a magnet that should be clear okay very easy now if suppose this is a wire and current is going this way this way like a uh, like a clock then you should understand this side will be south pole magnet this side will be north. and this is the magnet this thin magnet okay so this is the uh, clock rule this is called clock rule clear thank you